What's up, y'all? I'm Nefertiti XO, and right now we are in the juice room. DJ Cindy, is that you? What first got you into music? Basically, what got me into music was like, it kind of just stemmed from depression, to be honest. Like, I had just got my car repoed. It was a nice ass car. I got my car repoed, which made me lose my job. So I was just at home, stuck in the fucking suburbs because my job was in the city. And I was just like really going through it. And my friends, they would come over and they would record music at my dad's house. So it was just like a lot of personal stuff that was going on in my life. And they would record music and one day I was just like, hey, I want to record a song. And after that, it just kind of took off from there. And then a year later, I had met somebody and he really just upped my music game, like with beats and all of that. So. What's your favorite song of all time? Damn, this is so hard. Uh, I would say my favorite song of all time. You guys probably don't even know this song because it's just like so damn random, y'all. Like, I'm like really into musicals. Like, it's crazy. Okay, so my favorite song would be is on a Moulin Rouge soundtrack. And it's a Elton John song, and um, this guy he like resings it. It's a really good song, but it's called I don't know what it's called. But just know if you watch that movie, you'll be into musicals, and it's a good ass song. What's your hardest bar? Let me see, cause it was like some raw shit that I said. That was like, damn, I can't believe I said that shit. But I would say, ain't no poly in my pocket, but I keep the Glock. Because I don't think people really understand what I'm saying. Like, hello, poly pockets. You put them in your pockets. Got the Glock in my pocket. You know, it's cute. It's funny. It's adorable, but it's also hard. Like, I'm talking about real shit. So that would probably be my favorite bar. Next question. Favorite place to create music. My favorite place to create music would probably be in my bedroom with my dog, Cleo. She's adorable. The reason why I say in my bedroom is just because like growing up, I've always been super shy, like a shy person. I don't know if it's the cancer in me or just me in general, but growing up shy, is really really tough to overcome and it can really handle you in a lot of ways but yeah so that's why i like to think of shit when i'm at home like in my bedroom do you feel like being a female in the industry has it been hard harder for you to kind of collab with people or just get your music out there yeah, I say like in the beginning, it's hard because people think that um, they just be like, okay, it's another fe female rapper. She want to be a rapper. All these females want to be rappers. But it's like, okay, so fucking what? Like, it's our moment. It's our time to shine. So just relax and everybody will have their spotlight. Um, uh, more so for me, I just think it's kind of weird because most of the time niggas be want to link up with you, time about they want to work, whole time they just want to get up in your space and fuck up your energy. And you can't let niggas do that, period. So for a new listener, what song would you recommend them to listen to first? For a new listener, I would recommend you listen to my song Trends, just because that's such a bad bitch anthem. It's such a bad bitch anthem. The song that you're performing today, just talk a little bit about that. What is about the name of the... So the song that I'm performing today is called France is Me featuring Jenny. And basically the song is, um, 
I would say it's more so like a, a free hook type of song. Basically, um, I'm just talking about getting money and more so um, just being focused. So yeah, I would say it's like basically like a motivational song. Okay, so what's next for for you and your brand? Like what, what can we expect in like the next year? What you can expect is you will expect more YouTube videos. I'm finna get more active. Um, you can expect an EP coming out soon. That's what you can expect. I'm really excited. My EP is gonna be coming out in the spring. I'm really excited for that. And I'm just gonna be doing more YouTube videos about my daily life so people could get to know me more, be more personal with me. That's why I'm so happy I'm doing this interview. Cause that's what I need. I wanna connect with my fans, build a fan base, and just really start connecting with you guys so you can know who I am as a person. To the face, no passing. They said she bad, she just below average. A line on the wheels, you see I'm in traffic. She don't want no smoke, she really just acting. Can't trust no hoe, can't push it past him. Put a lick through and get back 30,000. He wanna fuck me, but I want his girlfriend. Put a work through, getting all back in. Put a work through, getting all back in. Hop out of PJ and hop in a bin. Off white peak coat, cuffin' from France.